these ones are kind of pests. Yeah, I guess we can consider them as pests because they feed on leaves, young leaves and fruits of the tomato plants, eggplants. They can be also found on tobacco, but we don't really grow tobacco here. But anyways, and these ones eat a lot. They have a really fast metabolism. They grow really big for caterpillars, as you can see, and they need to eat a lot to sustain this um, their body. So, <clears throat> and if you look closely to the plants where we found it. It has actually clipped away a lot of leaves from our tomato plants. So yeah, and they can be, they are so well camouflaged, they, it's really hard to find them. There can be more than one, two, I don't know, five, six, seven of these guys hiding in one or two tomato plants and you'll have a really hard time finding them. And yeah. That I guess pretty much it as much as I can remember at the time being and they will turn into a kind of moth when they grow and I don't know if they can survive except anywhere else except for the tomato plants the ones I found in my home in my backyard I put them on a maple tree and they're still there they haven't really moved much since I relocated them I don't know why I guess we can do something like that with this one here. Put it on some other tree and see what happens. Because I don't really want to kill this interest, this uh, magnificent animal. And I, I wanted to know. I mean, these guys are so you know outstanding. I've never seen a caterpillar so big. I am used to with caterpillars, maybe. Like one third the size of this one. And it was also, you know, munching on my tomato plants. So I really needed to know, I mean, how, how much damage these guys can do. And I'm actually glad that I did a little bit of research on this because otherwise I couldn't have, you know, spotted it here today. This one's moving really fast, as you can see. It's going to probably exploring its new habitat.